peace, y'all. Peace, man. I'm back with another live. You know what I'm saying? With another live again. All right. Um, I just want to know, did anybody turn in the Beowulf yesterday? You know what I'm saying? Did anybody turn in the Beowulf yesterday? <laughs> did anybody's phones go out yesterday? Or did you go out and buy water and toilet paper? I just want to know. Uh, if you are not on the Patreon, make sure y'all tap in on the Patreon, man. And check out this video I did. The scariest movie ever. You know what I'm saying? The Mark of the Beast talking about future technology and all that stuff. You know what I'm saying? And then we got the Blood Ring of Isis. This video is going up, y'all. You know what I'm saying? Going up. I'm going to drop this. I'm going to do something special. I'm going to drop this for y'all tomorrow on YouTube. All right? You know what I'm saying? This is information that I really, truly think uh, people uh, need to witness and see. All right? So, I'm going to put this out for y'all tomorrow on uh, YouTube. And then we have the uh, Satanic music, music Industry Part 1. All right? Um, this is a clip video with a bunch of artists basically admitting... Um, that the, you know, the industry is wicked and demonic. And we're going to be showing y'all some of this stuff today. All right, we're going to keep it real hip-hop, man. We're going to keep it real hip-hop as I always should. Salute. Let me uh, shout some people out. Do I got some people to shout out real quick? Let me see. Um, let me just make sure real quick, man. Just people show some love and stuff like that. Um... Oh, salute to, uh, salute lyricist. Thank you, lyricist, uh, for your donation. I appreciate you. Thank you, LJ2020. Uh, said for continue the marvelous work. Jay, God bless you. Thank you, lyricist. I appreciate you. Thank you so much. Um, my man LJ2020 said congrats on the 119 and, uh, J Stacks Calhoun. Salute to everybody, um, that show love. Let me shout some people out in the chat. We're going to be talking about some crazy stuff today. I'm going to show y'all um, some of this weird uh, music stuff. How these people be getting um, possessed through their music. All right. Now, um, salute to Vigilante Williamson. What's popping? Caden Wade. North Park Hazzy. You never had your car. Trey Quan Smith. Colleen Washington. Desire. Jay Stacks. What's popping? BP in the building. EV The Truth. Rashawn S. What's popping? Shakira Elliott. Um, Sandra Corley, BP, what's popping? What's popping? Five Five Felicia Day, what's going on? Queen Lolita, um, uh, let me see who else? PJC and uh, Recavelli, salute. J Monster Beast, what's popping? Malik Smith, what's popping? Ma R, what's popping? I, right. um, yeah, so I want to talk to y'all about something, man. Um, now. We know about the music industry being wicked, right? We know about that, right? But I want to break down, um, you know, the reason why a lot of these songs are basically um, manipulating the youth, you know what I'm saying, and people's minds and getting them um, to make certain decisions, all right? Now, what I want to point out to y'all, what I want to point out to y'all is this, right? I mentioned this in the video um, a few years ago where the process comes from writing music. It's not just, just writing on a pen and a pad or going in the booth freestyling anything. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of um, occult practices that actually take place as far as with creating music. All right? And um, I'm going to show y'all a clip today, a few clips. And we're going to be talking about the weird music industry. All right, y'all, the weird music industry. Now, if you rock with me, I would greatly appreciate it if you guys hit the like button. Um, if you would subscribe, you know what I'm saying? Leave a comment below. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate all of you guys. You know what I'm saying? I'm working hard to try to get y'all content as soon as possible. You know what I'm saying? Um... PJC said, music sounds like chance these days, casting spells on us. Yeah, absolutely, man. It's like, you know, we don't understand. Like, it's just, you, most people think it's just music, but there's a whole process that goes into creating a song. You get what I'm saying? It's just, you know, some people think, oh, it's just luck. You know, the person had a one-hit wonder, it's just luck. But 
It's a whole process that goes behind it. Salute to Guest 187. What's popping? Q U in the building. All right, so um, I'm gonna show y'all this clip, man, and um, we're gonna talk about the process of how um this music is created. All right. Everybody told me so. Feeling like I sold my soul. I spoke to a bad for me. He said he was seven years five. Gave you one thing you needed. What is this thing I played in? Why is the kid in Avon? Uh, there's just, I, I'd like to, uh, first of all, I'd like to thank Satan. I'd like to thank Louis Armstrong. I'd like to thank Neil Young. I'd like to thank the Rollins Band. I'd like to thank Bob Marley. I'd like to thank the Marx Brothers. I'd like to thank Salvador Dali. I'd like to thank Louis Bluewell. I'd like to thank Miles Davis. I'd like to say, thank uh, the Parliament Funkadelic. And uh, I'd like to thank you, too. And I'd like to second all Erda, the uh, American preacher man claimed that when you listen to Stairway to Heaven, heaven the other way around, that it says something like that. And I thought that that's, in that case, it's, it's, um, it's traditionally rock and roll because Alistair Crowley, the whole lineage, the, the Zeppelin thing, there's always been the play with the occult. Yeah. And uh, usually it's hung firmly in cheek. You know, there's a lot of humor and it's not like everything in life, it's not super, super serious, but it's intriguing. The devil for me represents rock and roll, film, freedom, humor, essentially my life, my background. You're a great guitar player, you sort of disappeared. Was that weird? I mean, you made two records, and but you kind of dropped out of the scene. So. Yeah, that's what I wanted. Did you keep to playing do. like at a home or something? No, not really. No, not at all. Well, how, did, how does that happen? Man? Uh, the, it, I, 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 uh, I had given much of myself to making music and to being a, a good, to being a good uh, mediator between uh, worlds and in, in outer space and that spirits live in between them and the reality that human beings uh, are existing in in the world and and my. Uh, I felt like I had given so much of myself to that that I had started to uh, these monsters had started to eat me up on the inside, you know. And I felt like I wanted to spend my time combating them with good feelings and with uh, other types of art besides music, mm -hmm. you know. And I did. I I had my war with uh, with certain spirits, you know, and nothing with me anymore. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Nothing messes with me anymore, you know, because I, I, uh, because I, I spent the time that I, that I wanted to spend to do nothing but just to go inside myself and to, and to explore, you know, explore the worlds that, that were, that were sort of taking advantage of me, but at the same time making me a rich artist, you know, like, like, uh, I was playing music and it was largely due to these certain spirits that were helping me do it, but at the same time, other spirits were totally taking advantage of me and humiliating me. And I couldn't differentiate between the two groups of spirits, you know, to put them in those two groups, because that's, you know, because if, if all you have to base on them is those two groups, you're, you, it's, it's impossible to distinguish between one and the other. And, so during the last five years, I've gone into myself enough to not have a problem yeah. with the spirit world anymore. Really hate because I'm a Nazi. Love wearing all black, you should see my closet. Keep my eye full of money, got a heart full of demons. Mobbing like Italians, we really turn take your face into a pizza. Reality is wisdom, perspective. I like Horus, I don't like Horus. Six feet deep, where the dirt is, and bad Keeping guns inside they purses The devil tongue got me spun through these verses Do you think that it's like important for you as an artist, as Denzel Curry To be a good role model? Do you feel like you have that I gotta be. My main thing is I gotta be the best me possible But I got, but I also got all eyes on me So I gotta show what's cool and what's not cool And most, what people deem cool is self-destructive Now, um, 
Now, I want to talk about the process. You know what I'm saying? And, um, yeah, that the guy, I see y'all in the comments. Y'all was like, oh, he mumbling and stuff like that while he talking. But that's John, um, Fus John Fusakani or something like that. But he was um, the guitarist in the group Red Hot Chili Peppers. And he, he, he had... A lot of issues with drugs, so he probably was high when he did that um, that interview. But the process, like I want to tell y'all this, man, and this is the whole thing what people don't understand about music because it's a difference. Like I, when I was writing music back in the day, right, I rapped about a bunch of things that I never did. You get what I'm saying? Like talking about killing people and all of this stuff. That I never did that stuff, right? But when somebody else writes those same lyrics, for some strange reason, they're rewarded for it, right? There's a there's a bit of a, a vividness behind this story, even if it doesn't have to exist. It's like the way that the words are put together, it's like they're casting a spell. This is why music is so influential upon a lot of young people you know what i'm saying now when you see an artist right and you know like i'll give i give beyonce prime example beyonce is an artist you guys could look it up In one of her old interviews she mentions about how she becomes possessed by sasha fierce and her regularly she can't perform that way so if beyonce you know goes up on stage and tries to um dance and do these things right um she won't perform the same way that she would when she becomes possessed by that spirit i just recently saw an interview um with beanie siegel um and he mentioned that jay-z was perform a ritual before he would do his songs right where jay-z would take biggie's chain and wear it and then go pace back and forth and and he wouldn't get a haircut these are all rituals now i've heard stories before about how um people will explain jay-z's um song creating process where he wouldn't write down anything he would just be mumbling to himself and going back and forth this is a form of spirit possession right when you know and i believe i truly believe that he introduced beyonce to that type of practice, which is why you see the whole Sasha Fierce thing come into play, right? But music has a big influence on the black community as well as suburban kids, right? Um, I was just telling my lady the other day, I'm like, yo, um, you know, the certain lingos have been adapted, but you know, you have suburban kids now talking about they have ops. When you can't have ops if you grew up in a suburban area. There's no such thing. You understand? There's no such thing as as Billy and Tom having the, having the op. You get what I'm saying? But this is what I'm saying. It's influential. And the, the whole process is like this. These people contact these spirits from other realms. And they give them words and certain slogans and gestures and terms to say in the music that catches and raises awareness to people i mentioned this before you take a person like chris brown and i know people are going to get upset when i mention chris brown but you take a person like chris brown and you use a song like these hoes ain't loyal right but that's all playing on the man's emotion and it's also provoking the woman to go out there and cheat on her man for a guy that has more money, right? So it's promoting that promiscuous, whorish, Jezebel, um, you know, unnatural behavior, right? Where there's no trust, there's no loyalty, there's no connection. But then on the other hand, you know, it's belittling the man that is doing what he's trying to do to provide. So I say that to say this, when you, if you guys out there and decide to create music, you have to understand, and this is not to, you know, promote or influence anyone to go out there and do this type of wicked stuff. But you have to understand like that music business is ran, okay, by these individuals and the jig is up. 
Let's be honest here. Everybody, everybody knows about humiliation rituals, sacrifices, all of these things. Whether you want to believe it or you don't, that's your business. But at the end of the day, you have to understand they're, they're, they're in a higher position than the average citizen for a reason. All right. You don't, you don't, you know, you don't just wake up one day and say, hey, I want to be a rapper. And then voila, you, you're rich tomorrow. It doesn't work that way. These people are handpicked. They're taught certain things. You know what I'm saying? And I'll give y'all another example before I go on to the next topic. Now, um, I had also did a video on my YouTube, right? And um, this was maybe about 2020. And the video is still on my uh, YouTube channel. And is a producer by the name of Digital Nas. Now, in this interview, right? When I first watched this, this interview in 2018, um, when I first watched that interview, he had mentioned in the interview that, um, he had a manager and his manager was a witch. And she told him that in order for him to write music, he had to, um, practice this witch language. All right. Now they edited that part out of the interview. They took it out. All right. They took that part out of the interview, but I was, luckily I was able to screen record, um, the part that he mentioned of you know the process of doing that type of business in music so this stuff really does happen you know what i'm saying stuff really does happen man um antonio said ran by demons yeah a lot of these these um you know these newer artists right and it's so weird because a lot of these newer artists are more on the i want to say the, the 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 occultic side you know what I'm saying? Like growing up, I, and I don't want to show my age, but growing up in the 90s, this stuff was like, it was like forbidden. It was around, but it was forbidden. You know what I'm saying? Like you had songs like um, Pearly Gates by Mob Deep and 50 Cent where Prodigy, you know, um, spoke how he spoke, you know what I'm saying? On his verse of that song. And 50 basically had the song, he had that verse removed. You know what I'm saying? Because that, that stuff was taboo to talk about. You know what I'm saying? Like anything occultic and stuff like that, it was, it was taboo to talk about back then. You know what I'm saying? It was considered blasphemous, you know, um, but now it's normalized, it's popularized, you know, and these kids um, are being possessed by this music. Salute to Caden Way. Um, thank you, Caden Way, for the super chat. He said, Mo uh, music, the most problematic art form because of the type of fan base it attracts stand culture with singers um no one likes theater kids for a reason music focused media like glee and steven steven universe are infamous for their toxic fan base now i don't know um i don't know about glee and steven universe too much but i agree with the theater music theater music is um is shunned upon because it's more of a lightened mood, but then you have to also remember, like the guy said in the clip, the devil's playground is music and film, right? He can he can manipulate your way of thinking through film. He can manipulate your way of thinking through influence, just like music, right? So those key factors of film and music is definitely, you know, how do I say his 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 realm of entertainment. Right, because if we can't see these images, right, then we don't know anything about it. You know what I'm saying? It, it's just, it's just the way that this stuff works. Um, Saratona said every video I watch now is a ritual, because you you've been exposed to this stuff, and once you see it, you can't unsee it. It doesn't matter what it is. It's if you go and scrolling on on social media and you see something, you can't unsee it now. You, it's like you can't you can't deny it because the truth has been revealed to you, you know. And now it's like these people know that, and you know they don't, you know they don't care at this point. You know what I'm saying? Um, J Stats Calhoun said, "Glee three, Glee three of them passed away by their own hands. They say the show is cursed. Yeah, I ain't gonna front. I don't know um anything about." Um, the show Glee, 
But um, I do remember somebody from the show um, actually meeting their demise. Salute Malia 420 was popping. She said, I can't even listen to music anymore. You know, you just have to be careful of what you put in your subconscious because like a lot of that music can affect your mood. It can affect how you treat others. You know what I'm saying? Certain songs that we listen to, we don't realize how how if how can it affect us? If I was sitting up here listening to uh women ain't ish but hoes and tricks all the time, I would I would I would develop that mentality. You get what I'm saying? And then I wouldn't respect women. I, I wouldn't I wouldn't respect them because you know what I'm saying I'm in I'm inducing that that way of thinking. You get what I'm saying? It just it's it's the way that we indulge in certain things and they know this this is why these this is why a, a positive rapper will not make it over a negative rapper a negative rapper is always going to make it he's always going to make it right but for the most part what happens in the music industry and i'll tell y'all one of their little secrets right this is how they operate they don't want the person that's already doing the devil's work so if you out there rapping about killing selling drugs shaking ass they don't want that they want the person that does not know about this stuff. They want to corrupt you, which is why you have people like Kanye. When he came in the rap game and he made a song called Jesus Walks, he was more on a positive route. Now, when you look at Kanye today, he's not the same person he once was. He went through a whole transition. You know what I'm saying? So it's they don't if they already have an individual doing the dirty work of the devil. They don't need to recruit you. You get what I'm saying? They don't need to recruit you. They need those people that's pushing those positive messages and it's actually getting people's attention. Then what they'll do is they'll either um, sign you, okay? They'll either sign you and shut you down and put you behind on the shelf. Think about a lot of, like a lot of people say, why gangster disciple rappers don't make it far because they stand for growth and development, right? But if they were to happen to preach that in their music, you know what I'm saying? If they were if they were happen to preach the, the growth and development in their music, they would be silenced or taken out of the industry. Now, I want to show y'all this, right? We're going to talk about these hip-hop punks. Now, I see a trend going on with a lot of these entertainers, right? And I don't approve of it. I want to talk to the younger generation, if I may. Do not follow the trends of your favorite rappers, okay? These people are getting paid to do this, all right? These are agendas that's being pushed. Now, I'm gonna show y'all this clip about how these punks are playing the devil's game. Now, look at this, y'all. Just look at this nasty nonsense that these people all are doing. Watch this, Just and I want y'all to tell me, what do y'all see in common with all of these punks here?
even basketball players. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. It basketball players. Look at this. Look at this nonsense here. Now, I want to just say this, man. And I want to talk to the executives at the top. Why do you want straight men to wear nail polish, dog? What type of fetish do you get from that? What is, I don't understand that. To see a grown man wearing nail polish, I don't understand that. I don't understand that. Like, because who's telling these rappers, basketball players, I seen, when I seen Virgil wearing nail polish, I was like, oh man, come on, man. You know what I'm saying? You got dudes out here paying their toenails and doing all of this. What, what? Why do these people at the top, excuse me, executives, why do you want these people that, that are your puppets to wear nail polish? What is What point is that going to prove? I just would like to know. Jay Wellathon says, Zesty Justice. Yo, I don't know. I don't get it. You know what I'm saying? Antonio says soft boy era. This, this is what I'm saying. Soft and and you know, let's be honest here. People like myself, when I speak out against this stuff, is Jay, why you worry about it for? It ain't your business. But at the end of the day, it is because the 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 you're stopping, you're stopping whatever progress is supposed to happen here. What is why why? Why do we you know what I'm saying? Why is that normalized right now? Seeing people, seeing men with muscles wearing nail polish is crazy to me. I don't know. It's just crazy to me, man. Trevor Lambo said the Baphomet male and female, so they showed their allegiance. That's a fact. That is a fact. You get what I'm saying? That is a fact. Salute to you, bro. You know what I mean? It's it's crazy, man. You know, it, and like I said, I tell y'all this all the time. I don't really get on the entertainers for doing this because let's be honest here. We see a rapper or a basketball player wearing nail polish. You think that they woke up one day and said, I want to paint my nails? No, somebody told them to do that. You know what I'm saying? If you want to make this extra two million, you need to put that nail polish on. You know what I'm saying? And these are these are rituals. These are what people consider rituals. There's no way that everybody in that industry is doing the same thing. Everybody, oh, it ain't no ritual. Everybody's doing the same thing though. Somebody close to them dies. They wearing a dress. They wearing nail polish. You hearing weird stories about these weird parties. It's always something. There has not been one entertainer that hasn't came out and said, man, I don't know what you talking about, man. They, you know, they, they get up there and lie. And I'm going to tell you about media training. When you know, you know, when you see a rapper, right? And they're in the interview and you got a person like Sway. Let's take Sway, for instance. And I'm not throwing no shade at Sway because he could be in the game and he could not be. Who knows, right? But Sway may ask a person a question like, What's that tattoo represent on your hand? And and let's take Juice World for example, and he may say, uh, the six 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 represents this, but it's it's supposed to be nine nine nine, right? Now the fact that he will explain that and not tell the general public what it really means is not breaking the oath. So they 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 test them every now and then. When you see Katy Perry up on Jimmy Fallon and he asked her about the album cover, why you got the eyeball in your mouth? And she said, oh, you know, this, that, and the third. And then he said, yeah, you didn't tell the secrets. Because if you use these symbols and these signs, right, you must not tell the general public what this means. 
So you got to look at people like Jim Carrey when he went up on that late night show and he told everybody, this is the all seeing eye of the Illuminati. This is their symbol, right? Jim Carrey exposed it, but these people are all a part of it. They all a part of it. And the higher up you go, the more you see that crap. People think, oh, you're joining. I mean, I'm, they, they say, oh, yeah, they in Freemasonry or whatever. Oh, they, they're not getting nothing. You're not high enough, bro. They're not going to tell you that they keep secrets from their own people. They keep secrets from their own people, bro. You understand? Only a selected few are chosen. You understand? Yeah, Omerta said, puppets to the cabal. That's a fact. That's a fact. Yeah, Malik Smith, and tried to joke it off. This is what I'm saying. That's all a form of media training. When you see a lot of these rappers and they get questioned in these interviews and they, they spin the narrative or make it seem like it's not a big deal or I don't know what you're talking about. You know what I'm saying? This is media training. Them people tell them, listen, whatever you see going on in this business, you better not say it to nobody. You understand? You want contractual agreement. And some of them lose their life. Some of them, and Certain things happen to these people. If they speak out about this stuff, man. Certain things happen to these people. I'm not going to I'm not gonna go into detail, but certain things happen to these people. We ain't just talking about being blacklisted from the industry. It's a lot of stuff that goes on. It's a lot of stuff. Salute to uh, Thank you, Xavier, man, for the donation. I appreciate you, man. Thank you, man. I appreciate you, bro. Uh, let me read some of y'all in the chat, man. Uh, Andrew Pollock said, Jay the realest, bro. Yo, I got to tell people the truth, man. You know, for me, it's not, all, it's not all about views and stuff like that. Like, regardless of the fact. I don't really care about that stuff. You know what I'm saying? The Most High blesses me to reach people and tell people what's going on in this cruel world, in this cruel business. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, and bring awareness. Because a lot, whether you believe it or not, this music that we listen to every day... Okay, it, it's it's a distraction. It's keeping us distracted. You know what I'm saying? It's keeping us distracted. Um, yeah. Um, bronze flat power guard said I've been around a lot of them, and I and I know the stories. Oh yeah, but people will be they'll be in denial about this stuff. They'll think it's not real. You know what I'm saying? Because they've never seen it, or they may know somebody. That's close to them and they won't tell them, yo, man, you know, I I ain't seen nothing. You know, I wasn't never tried. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you weren't never tried. That doesn't mean it didn't go down, though. You know? Um, DJ Spiral said, that's what we like about you, Jay. I have to tell people the truth, son. You know, I'm not here to sugarcoat nothing, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm not here for that, man. Playing the devil's game. That's a fact. Yeah, man. Zesty Fest is the theme in Hollywood. Yeah, man. Um, I have a vi I have that video about levitating star from from South Africa. Levitating star from South Africa. I don't know. I don't know about that. Um, call me press. Say if only Yash Kara still spoke on the industry. I think they got to him. Let me tell y'all about Yash Kara. Yash Kara. Um. Was one was one of the few people early on on YouTube speaking about this stuff, right? But they took his his content away because he was using a lot of movies and and um, playing music videos and stuff like that. YouTube is very strict when it comes to showing certain content. You get what I'm saying? So they took him off of here. I guess he's an older guy, so he's like, man, I ain't I ain't gonna start over again, you know. But Yash Kara was. You know, I was watching his videos back in 20, uh, 20, 2010, 2009. You know what I'm saying? He always been spilling the the, the, uh, the tea on this nonsense here. Him, um, Black Dot, Professor Griff, all of these people have always been speaking out about the industry. And we've seen it happen right in front of our eyes. You know what I'm saying? Um, salute Gemini605. He said, real spill on these clowns. Listen, let me just tell y'all, man, it, there's no... There's no reason why this agenda should be pushed. I don't understand why you want to have people like Playboy Cardi, all right, wear a thong. Like, what, what is, what is that supposed to prove? What is that? You know what I'm saying? Like, how, what, how is that gonna influence the people? Because I'ma be honest, 
you know, a lot of his fans may be hipsters or suburban kids, but let's be clear here. They're not, they're not wearing that. It's only, it's only a certain selective few of people that might go out and do that nonsense. You know what I'm saying? But for the most part, if people listen to Playboy Cardi on their spare time, they're not going out and doing that weird stuff. So what's the point of pushing this? You get what I'm saying? What What is the point of pushing this to the general public, man? You know what I'm saying? Um, Ma R said, talentless weirdos. Yeah, that's that's a fact too. Um, yeah, he said, rappers getting killed young. Yeah, what, uh, what is... I don't know what is his website. I don't know. Um, salute to everybody in here, man. A young college kid in Florida who was considered a genius just blanked his mom 70 times listening to Kanye, No Church in the Wild. See what I'm saying? See what I'm saying? And and in situations like that where they don't they don't think about this. The same thing with Eminem. They said Eminem was responsible for them kids. Um, Shooting up that school back in the day. You know what I'm saying? But the music is an influence. And then the, the rapper, the rapper's go-to is I'm not responsible for what your kids listen to. You should be a parent. But if the child comes to the parent and says, Mom or Dad, I want I want this CD, or I want I want this album, or I want to I want to go to this concert. As a parent, you're gonna do you know, if your child, you're going to do what your child, you know what I'm saying? Like, you're not going to do what they ask you, but you're going to, you're going to get them what they want. You know what I'm saying? If it's just music, you ain't thinking nothing of it. But all the while that, that message on that CD or that, in, in that, that, at that concert is demonic and it's influencing your child. You know what I'm saying? All of those parents that let their kids go to Astro World or whatever the place was, you know, they expected their children to come back that night, but they didn't. You know what I'm saying? That's the crazy part. You you send your kid off to go to a concert thinking, yeah, they be home by 12 o'clock and you get a phone call that your kid just got trampled. That's, that's devastating, bro. That's devastating. You know, I see a lot of these old heads out here. Oh, yeah, you know. Eh, listen, man. But salute to y'all, man. I talked enough. Um... Yeah, man. Did you see the demon or UFO in the solar eclipse? Yes, I did. I'll be back at 3 p.m. Uh, We're going to talk about some more stuff, man. I try to come back up here for y'all. Let's do a quick live. Um, If you would like to join the Patreon, make sure um, you tap in. We got this video up here, the scariest movie ever, man. Talking about how future technology is basically the mark of the beast, man. Um, also we got this, the blood, the blood ring of ISIS. I'm going to be dropping this for y'all tomorrow, um, on my YouTube channel, man. I'm going to make sure I, I, I premiere it because YouTube, I, I don't know. They're not respecting the uploads. They did me dirty with that Kurt Cobain video. Make sure y'all go check out that Kurt Cobain video too, man. I don't know what's up with that. Um, and then we got the satanic music industry exposed part one of 15. I'm up to part two right now. You know what I'm saying? I'm just I'm just chopping everything up and organizing it. So um salute to everybody that joined the Patreon. Um Yeah, man, salute, salute. I can't I can I uh send that video about 11 uh, no, nah, I don't know. Mr. Buddy Mr. Butter Brown was popping. We should be listening to everything and watching whatever our kids are watching to really parent them. Yeah, I mean, I agree with that too, man, but you know, nowadays with technology, man, kids have the ability to go, you know, find whatever they want to find. YouTube is is available to anybody. A toddler can get on YouTube. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, it is what it is, man. Um, Yeah, I'll be back, though, y'all. I'll be back at 3 p.m., man. I love y'all. Y'all be safe out there, man. And uh, peace, man.